Welcome back to Turn Up Arms, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video today. There's a mixture of stuff going on in this video. We got haul manure, chisel plowing, stock shredding. That's basically all it's in this video. But there's going to be no throwback clip in this video today because I have enough footage for you. And when we get to the stock shredding, the 1256 that's running the stock shredder says it's a 1456. DKLC 1456. It's not a 1456. It's a 1256. With 1456 decals. Just want to get that out of the way so you guys don't all complain and worry about that. And if you can't come back and watch my videos and you're not subscribed, I strongly encourage you to subscribe because obviously you like the content because you can't come back to watch it. So, and if you like the videos, make sure you get hit that like, like button. So then it'll help me out some, not much, but I strongly encourage you to do that too if you like the video. If you don't, no, then hit the the thumbs down button so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video stay tuned until next week for the next video maybe later this week i'm kind of putting videos up when i have time because i you know i have time to do it's just making enough video but right now i'm gonna have enough video since we're doing field work so yeah hopefully you enjoy all righty we're back to hauling crap again me and brant brant's running the kubota and he wants me to haul the manure today, I guess. So I'll be hauling manure at the good old 256. I don't know if we'll be running both rigs today, but I got the other manure spreader hooked up, the bigger one, but you can only haul as much as this one because it's so old. So wore out. So yeah, we're cleaning over here on the other side of the road. And yes, the new hauling broke down. Uh, I broke down a course while I was using it. It was my second bucket on my first, filling up my first load. Oh, uh, what day was that? Two days ago now. And yeah. What happened is the bolt that holds the hydraulic ram on the bottom came loose. And I didn't know it was coming loose. I didn't know it has been coming loose, so yeah. Next thing you know, I started lifting up, and the buck I was up in the air, and next thing you know, the buck was back on the ground. There's hydraulic, hydraulic oil spraying everywhere. Now, Brant's being smart. He's pushing the manure to the wall, to the concrete wall here, so he can pick it up a lot easier. Yeah, we don't like to use a Kubota for manure because the new hauler just works better. This thing has more, it's, it can lift up more weight but it just seems like it lifts up a lot slower and the bucket doesn't reach over on the other side of the spreader nearly as well as it does in your hauling so you kind of have more on the side that you're filling up on so and I, the hydraulics just seem to run a lot slower on the Kubota you gotta run at a high RPM in order for it to go as fast as a new hauling kit and an idle so yeah, but it, it gets the job done. It works like it's better than a bobcat. <laughs> so yeah, we'll watch right now. Look at that, there's a jersey. So it is Friday of, so what's today's date? The 27th, I believe, is the date. I believe that's the date. Yeah. Good old 56 here. It needs another bath. I waxed this thing, but the wax, it was old, old, old wax. 
the dad had laying around. I thought I'd give it a try and it, I don't know. It looks better, but it's still got remnants of the wax on it everywhere. So that wasn't nice, but I got better wax now I could use. So when I get time, I'll wash it up again. Just wash the hood. Wax her up some more. So yeah. Good enough. That was the last load we were doing. I would clean it out all the way along. Oh. Really? There we go. Alright, back to the load up. This is my favorite 12. I think it's Brian's favorite too. Filming and they look away. That guy there, that jersey poking out over there, head button shelly. Just turn it. Brand thinks he's all cool wearing his hat backwards. Old barn here needs quite a bit of work. The hay mile floor is crumbling in. There's still bedding, hay, whatnot up there. You can actually see where the old granny was where that board fell off there. There used to be an old granary there where they put grain on, obviously. Yeah. Pens actually aren't that bad. They probably could have waited another week, but oh well. Got nothing better to do anyway. These guys need salt. I could tell just by looking at that jersey over there. He's licking the dirt. Yeah, they need salt, and I can obviously look in the feet over there. But usually you put salt, two salt bags, and one mineral bag right there. That's usually what we do. But somebody's been like slacking. Probably me or Brant. Usually it's me or Brant that does that.
Yeah, I'm still not used to having this plexiglass window here because there never was a window here. Grandpa took them out however many years ago and he welded up the... Where did he weld it? Down here. Welded the frame of the window to the frame of the cab. So you can't open that. He took the glass out. He did all. He did that in the R12 too. He did that for when they're chopping hay so they could pull the ropes or release the chop box. Or for the spreader here to pull the rope to um, change the speed he wants the spreader in. So yeah. Grant's getting bigger. See what I mean? He can't get the veneer on the other side of the spreader as well as he can on the new hauling. If you recall my last video, he was throwing it on the other side like it was no problem. Now it kind of struggles. That's what we don't that's one of the things, main things we don't like about the Kubota. I mean it doesn't reach out far enough as far as what it could. And the hydraulics are slow on it. Slower than New Holland anyway. But still, it gets the job done just fine. You still get the job done fast, it's just it's nicer. I think one more bucket will do. Look what you guys put away. Darn it. I was too late. Alright, we're in the field that all, me and Brandon were spreading manure. Dad is actually running the chisel plow. Now, this half of the corn stalks are going to have to... I was wrong, we're not running a Salford tool over it. We're going to run a... Oh, excuse me, a six scroll stalk chopper over it. So yeah, might still do that today. I highly doubt it. That might be tomorrow. But I think Dad's gonna. I don't know how wet it is. It just rained like over half an inch yesterday. Now let's go down there, I guess. He's pulling some, you can see. I don't know if he's going as deep as it'll go, though. Looks like the, the hydrograms down all the way. Down to the stoppers, where we wanted, how deep we wanted to go. Yeah, he's got it down all the way. Now, Dad flipped the teeth around, the two, uh, the chisel points, whatever you want to call them. The chisel points sound better, but he flipped them around so they're actually technically brand new on that side. I think these are new shanks for chisel points last year. The shanks, I don't know how old all the shanks are. Most of them are probably original. Now, if you look at the side here, this side shank here is added on. Same with the other side. So originally this was a 10 shank chisel plow, now it's a 12 shank. So yeah, I'll meet Dad down at the end. These are coming. This chisel plow doesn't work the tractor too badly. The tractor more than less loses traction most of the time. Usually when it's wet out. Right now, I don't know how bad it is. He's definitely, he's grabbed, the tires are definitely grabbing her. Well, they're slipping some. The front tires, you can see some slippage. All right, I had to stop you there to get some pictures. Get the right pictures. I kind of would like that if he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna keep going, but if he was, I wish he could make some video, but it appears he's on the phone. Listen to that baby roar. Hey, yeah, spinning there or something. Maybe. Seems like the, the front wheel, front tires spin more than the rear. I think he's spinning some. Oh, yeah. First ground to the plow this year. The ground is tacky. Why aren't you guys focusing? Hey. I don't know. It's definitely worse than what it was when we ran the fuel cultivator. But yeah, it just rained a whole bunch. Well, not a whole bunch, only like half an inch or more. So yeah, see what else happens in this video.
All right, so this is a Lofness, don't know what number, stock shredders, roughly 15 feet wide, as wide as your normal six row corn planter, so you can cover a planter with, basically. So yeah, this is a guy, well, my dad's cousin, I guess. The guy that chops corn for us and does a lot of other things for us, too. We do a lot of printing. So yeah. Looks like he's only chopping five rolls right now. Sorry for the wind, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm using my phone. So the main reason they're doing this is so the chisel plow doesn't plug up. <laughs> Dusty, holy crap. Move over here, I guess. So yeah, the main reason they're doing this is so they don't plug up the chisel plow. And uh, obviously the material is going to decompose more easily. So yeah, it'll be easier on the chisel plow. That's the main reason, basically. We were going to run the disc out here, but our disc is so wore out. It would take like three passes just to do what this thing can do in one pass. So, yeah. Whatever. It gets the job done. See what else happens in this video. So, this thing ain't doing too bad of a job. Just pulverizing that stock pretty darn good. There he goes into the north, taking down his roll shame. Hey, yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. Just pulverizing these stalks stalk pretty well. Yeah. Camera ain't focusing that well. Eh, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, I think I might be taking over for him. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Alrighty, I'm giving her 